Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Dr. Ramel from City Skin Clinic um, and following on from the last video, I'm going to specifically talk about Abaji Hydroquinone um, and uh, answer a couple of questions about this particular brand of Hydroquinone, um, uh, especially what the difference is uh, between Clear and Blender, which is something I get asked a lot about in the um, in our virtual clinic and um, so I'm hoping to kind of highlight the differences um, and answer these questions and give you a little bit of a background about the product itself and what it's used for and what it's not used for. Before we get started if you're new to this channel welcome don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and um, if you are a regular to our channel welcome back and thank you so much for all your support. So Let's dive in. What is uh, Obagi hydroquinone? Well, it's a brand. Of, uh, it's a type of hydroquinone from Obagi. Um, it comes as four percent hydroquinone, which is a standard prescription, and uh, it's a it's a prescription only medicine. Um, which means you cannot get it without uh, seeing a doctor or a nurse prescriber, or um, so a, a doctor or a nurse prescriber in the UK. Um, and with hydroquinone, um, there are very specific uses for it, which I've mentioned in the previous video, so I won't go into too much detail about in this video. Um, but really, the main reasons it's used is to treat hyperpigmentation, um, and often that's hyperpigmentation either due to post inflammatory uh, problems such as uh, previous acne, um, or um, it may be due to uh, sun damage. Um, uh, so that hyperpigmentation is generally known as melasma. And they can also be used to treat um, freckles um, and other things like that. Um, with the Abaji Hydroquinone, it comes as two different products. So there is Clear and there's Obagi Blender. And both of these products contain 4% hydroquinone, but they work slightly differently and they're designed to be used slightly differently. So if you are someone with severe hyperpigmentation, so uh, moderate to severe hyperpigmentation, then you might use the Obagi kit, um, and that's the Obagi Newderm system. Um, and that contains both the Obagi Clear and Obagi Blender hydroquinone. Um, but also uh, sometimes if people have a very limited amount of hyperpigmentation um, or very localized or they're looking to maintain or top up on a result from the kit, then they might use Obagi Clear or Obagi Blender separately or both of them together. It really depends on the cause. So Obagi Clear is designed to be used by itself. It's got formulated to uh, with 4% hydroquinone um, and often you would use it in the morning and the evening. Evening, um, as a standalone product um, so it's applied um, at, uh, after kind of cleansing the skin um, and also if you are uh, use it you know um, and it's used in the uh, the active product stage of skincare um, and because and because it's used by itself um, it's designed to kind of sink in quite quickly and absorb so that you can also layer some other products with it um, so that is Obagi Clear, it's the hydroquinone, it's a standalone product. Um, then Obagi Blender has been formulated slightly differently, so it's designed to work alongside retinol or a, uh, even better tretinoin. It's designed to be mixed with these products um, so that the two can work effectively or more effectively on treating hyperpigmentation um, and get absorbed uh, better into the skin. So um, Obagi Blender uh, also contains 4% hydroquinone but it's only designed to be used at night um, and generally it's best when it's used alongside um, uh, mixed in with tretinoin or retinol and you've got a vehicle to deliver both the hydroquinone and the retinoid more effectively into the skin. Um, so you, um, where, you might ask when are you using them? So both of them when you're treating hyperpigmentation but really if you are using um, tretinoin or retinol to treat hyperpigmentation and you want to add a boost to that um, then you um, and a product that someone only uses at night then you're probably going to uh, your doctor may put you on the blender um, if you have uh, hyperpigmentation that is maybe a little bit more severe and you need a product that you use both in the morning and the evening um, then 
uh, you're probably using the clear, especially if you're not using a retinol or a tretinoin, then the benefit of the blender go on its own goes away. Um, and then if you are someone with severe hyperpigmentation, like I mentioned, then most likely you would probably end up using both products where you're using the clear and you're using the blender alongside retinol or tretinoin or something like that. So different uses um, depending on the severity of your hyperpigmentation. One thing that I really need to kind of make clear, like I made in my previous video, with uh, unlike tretinoin and retinol, which can be you can be on indefinitely unless you're pregnant or breastfeeding or planning to be, or you're allergic to them, obviously. Um, then uh, so. You can be on tretinoin for as long as you need for, for life if necessary, but, um, and there's nothing, no safety issues there. Hydroquinone, you really can only be on it for a specific limited amount of time. So this is the window when we're using to clear up something like the hyperpigmentation. Um, so, you know, typically that might be a um, 18 to 24 week period. And then after that, you're stopping the hydroquinone and you're going on to maybe maintain the results with retinol or tretinoin. Um, uh, but you're not going to be on hydroquinone for a long time um, because there are dangers associated with hydroquinone so it does need to be used responsibly under the care of obviously a medical provider. So that's where we are with uh, Obagi um, Blender and Obagi Clear. They are really important um, products in treating hyperpigmentation. Often they will work really well if you're also using retinol or tretinoin. Um, which type, whether you're better off with a budget clear or a budget blender or both of them, um, your doctor will help you make that decision and that will be based on the severity of your hyperpigmentation, how widespread it is um, and how quickly you want to resolve the issue. And regardless of whether you use clear or blender or both of them, um, either individually or within uh, the new derm kit. If you are someone with extensive hyperpigmentation, you might opt for that. Regardless to any of these, there is a limit to how long you're going to be on the hydroquinone. Um, and actually, um, you know, more often than not, you're likely to be on retinol and tretinoin during that period to improve the results that you get. Um, so that's kind of the magical combination. And then your results will be improved on and uh, maintained with retinol or, hydro or tretinoin. Um, so I hope you found this video useful. Um, I have put links to some of our other videos um, about hyperpigmentation, about hydroquinone, and also about um, the Obagi New Dome system. Um, don't forget also for more mild to moderate hyperpigmentation, there's the Obagi C system, which includes hydroquinone, but also has vitamin C in it. So I'll put a link to that video as well. Um, if you have any questions about hydroquinone or any of the Obagi products or anything in general, please leave a comment below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, and if you're not already done so, please don't forget to subscribe uh, to our channel and hit the notification bell. Until next time, stay beautiful.